uh, I will uh, notify you on that if uh, we are ending, uh, if it is getting ended. So uh, when it comes to do uh, before interview, right? Uh, before interview, what you can prepare? Before interview preparation has got six steps in it. I call it six steps. And these are very, very important. To start with, number one, research the company you are going for interview. Research the company, understand what kind of business they are. For example, uh, Sakti is going for interview with Guardia Insurance, right? Understand what kind of business they are, what products they are using, what are the technology they are using. This may sound silly, but it, uh, if you do all the research, you have a better idea of how your skill sets are fitting that company requirement. Number two, if whenever you are called for an interview, you will be given a job description where they will specify what skills they are looking for, whether they are looking for Python, where they, whether they are looking for Selenium, where, whether they are looking for uh, uh, you know, so, uh, Agile, where they, 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 whether they are looking for Waterfall. So understand the job requirement, go through job description and try to understand each and every line. That is very, very important. A lot of people do that mistake. They don't go through job description. They think like, I'm a Java developer. I'm a Python developer having seven years of experience. So I'm robust. I will go and I will nail interview, but it will not work like that. In Python also, you have a lot of framework. You may be good at one framework, but other framework, we, you may need to look for what they are looking for in the interview. Third thing, and that's the third step. I don't know how many of you are doing it or, uh, or planning to do it. Try to understand who is going to interview you. This is very, very important. Let's say that I'm going, uh, I, you know, I'm going for, uh, let's say that I'm going for a software development role, right? For interview and Nilesh is going to interview me, but Nilesh is a product owner. He's a scrum master. So he understands business. He, he has no idea about a lot about technology, right? So if he is going to interview me, he will ask a lot of questions on business process, how agile works, not how I will use Python as a tool, right? So you have to know how, uh, who your interviewers are, who is going to interview, whether it is a one-to-one -one interview, whether it's a panel interview, you know, how you can do that. There is a lot you can do it. First, go through LinkedIn profile. Let's say they will share the name of hiring manager who is going to interview you go through the LinkedIn profile and understand their uh, education level, what kind of certifications they have got, what technology they are good with, what is their current role in the company, what their likes and dislikes are. So that is the one thing you can do for interview uh, interviewer. Number two, uh, and th this is very interesting. If they are, have, they are calling for interview in IT or in any field, don't think that you are the one who are going to do the job. There are hundreds and thousands of people who can do the same job what you are doing. So uh, they will uh, assess you based upon your personality. Try to understand. Let's say that try to go through the social media account. When, when I go for interview here in America, I, I look for their social media account, whether they are on Facebook. And then I try to understand uh, what their personality are, you know, how they look like. So that will help you a lot tailoring your interview preparation. So that is like uh, number three step, number four, uh, number four, and very important, dress to impress. This may, uh, this may, uh, so I don't know, like, uh, you know, what is the dress code in India? Because I have attended one campus interview. I, I was informal, but dress is very, very important. When it comes to dress, it is very, very important. And I will give you examples of how I was successful at some job interview with just with good dressing sense. No technical skills. Let me tell you, that. I, I'm confronting this. Uh, I was not better at technology that time when, when I was new to the country. And I was able to outsmart and outperform the candidate who has great technical skills because of my dressing sense. So you may think you are not going for face-to-face -face interview. You are not going for video interview. Why to dress appropriately? Why to dress? Remember, if you are in uh, you know, pajama or track suit and if you are taking telephonic interview, I don't know what kind of confidence you will get. But if you, if you were me, if I were you, I will do the same kind of dress up what I do for actual interview, which is a uh, business casual, like suits are very famous in America. So I, I will be in suit all the time. Other than I will put everything, whatever I have, because when you're going for interview, you are a brand, you are creating your own brand, right? Like uh, they, if they, for interview they have seen something in you and you are you are a product 
think about that that you are a product and you are going to sell yourself sell your ideas sell your values and when if you have a good dressing sense you will get a lot of con confidence from inside so that is step number four. step five prepare a list of behavioral question prepare a list of some questions you know they are going to ask an in interview and there is no harm keeping piece of paper in front of you when you are sitting at the table you know there is no harm there is no problem at all you can write all the answers you are going to speak uh, and keep it in, in your table it really helps let's say that uh, you know if I, if i am going for an interview and if they are asking okay uh, you are saying that you are very proactive right? can you give me three examples where you uh, where you displayed your leadership qualities and uh, proved to a customer that you are very proactive if you think at the moment the chances are either you will uh, ramble up or blabber something and that can also lead uh, some of the rejections uh, there are list of questions for behavioral interview you can uh, you know google it online or i can share the link with you definitely uh, something to look for and the last uh, you know uh, step in uh, uh, before interview is uh, trying to find a quiet place at your house try to find a place where you cannot be distracted let's say you are staying in a house where you have a family try to book a time slot or book a room where you can be yourself you know nobody is entering into the room and uh, you are testing all your devices uh, your speakers your mics and everything whatever you are going to use for interview so that's these are the six steps i feel like very important for any telephonic interview how it uh, now telephonic interview right uh, you have prepared uh, on the background you are well prepared for interview now but when it comes to the d day or the final day there are different kind of challenges right so so uh, how to tackle those how to attack those challenges that i'm going to tell you in next 10 steps there are 10 steps involved in it and try to listen it very carefully you know if you are not able to make notes that's fine i can send you that i mean i'm not a big fan of uh, uh, writing uh, like uh, showing you the powerpoint i don't believe in that because i'm always inspired from steve jobs and he thinks if you if you know your subject then you don't need a powerpoint right <laughs> until you are uh, going uh, for a iphone demo or something right so i don't use powerpoint a lot uh, rather i use points uh, and i try to speak from uh, my own experiences coming to during interview what you can do during interview number one is uh, have like a personality be sincere be polite be generous try to greet interviewer let's say that if they are calling you at 5 45 a.m or 5 45 p.m rather than they asking you how are you doing today just just tell them hey look i'm so excited and i was waiting to hear from you that shows your interest towards him you know that how much interested or enthusiastic you are, you are about interview that is the uh, that is number one step you have to do number two is uh, again always uh, as i said the Ajay. Mm -hmm. I, you should start this uh, recording you have not started recording i am recording it i am recording it i am okay. recording it are you not seeing it yeah yeah recording has been started yeah that's what i, I, I felt i have like i started a little late but i am recording it okay. you know, yeah yeah thanks for reminding though all right where i was uh, number one step have a good personality number two and i i uh, i'm reiterating it again and again have a positive warm smile sometimes the way you smile you know that says a lot of things that says that uh, you like interviewer that says that uh, you know you have got a positive personality you have you are so excited about it smile is a very very good form of uh, communication you know it communicates a lot of ideas so smile you know uh, smile in a generous way don't be fake <laughs> people will catch you know people will catch you easily the way you smile and the way you face you know so make sure that uh, you understand that and then uh, again uh, this is like try to find a good uh, spot try to find a good workspace in your house if you have if you are living in a one bedroom house that's fine totally try to find a good space like the one i did right now right <laughs> so that uh, sometimes like uh, it, it uh, conveys a good message that you are very organized and most important whenever you are having a interview try to have a copy of resume in your hand you know try to have a copy of resume and keep that on a table all the time 
and let's say that you have got 30 points in your try to identify five important selling points like five important points that you can sell in interview interview is all about selling you know they don't care about how much you know they just care how much you are able to perform on the given day you know that is that is something to look for you may be good at uh, database like sql server right and uh, they may be looking for an oracle developer correct so you have to understand what they are looking for and then sell your idea be honest be honest people will tell you no no you can lie don't lie in interview guys if you lie you are gone at <laughs> think about this even though they are a scrum master or product owner who are interviewing you that but they must have heard a lot of technical keywords right so for example if you have a knowledge on sql server tell them that hey look i have good knowledge working knowledge on sql server but i can learn uh, oracle very well i'm a good learner give them some examples that really helps them to understand you that you are a quick learner and you are very honest in india in india you know uh, we all have an impression for either interview or people who are going for interview if they ask 10 questions and if you answer 10 questions in a good fast style then you are hired but america in america you are wrong <laughs> if you answer three questions also and you are very honest uh, you have a good personality they will hire you rather than the people who have answered 10, 10 questions so it is not quantity quality always cost less and quality matters a lot when it comes to interview because think about this they are going to hire a person they want to work with them right so they don't want somebody who can do automation great automation sakti may be great at automation but others can you know others can be good with people management right others can greet his manager really well when he's coming to office he can ask about his kids his family so they will definitely uh, you know hire others because anybody they can train in it right it is not a perfect science right <laughs> it is not a not a science so try to understand point of views a lot of people who go for interview they don't understand these and they fail in interview miserably and they think interviewers are very cruel and uh, you know very brutal but that's not the case think about when you are hiring somebody if i'm hiring somebody i will look for somebody who is very positive like me right i mean think about if you are finding a girlfriend or a wife right you will look that for the thing which you that matters to you right you won't be looking for somebody who is not very uh, you know uh, comfortable with you so may, make sure that uh, you have a list of uh, points on your resume uh, on uh, highlighted on the resume fourth point is listen very carefully listen with very carefully try to understand first try to understand and then try to be understood our habit is we want to listen because we want to speak we want to give answer right but that does not work, right? That does not work all the way. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, all of you have, uh, uh, all of you are watching the TV serial called Mahabharat, right? If you understand the TV serial, you can learn a lot from that. A lot of good listening skills, right? When um, Arjun told uh, uh, Lord Krishna that I'm feeling dejected, I'm feeling disappointed, I cannot fight against my, uh, my inner enemies, I cannot fight against my father, right? He spoke till slow 32 from 1 to 32 if a uh, lord krishna might have stopped him right but he didn't stop him he he was like okay is it is it is it and then he understood right what he is trying to convey and after that what happened is history right 500 slok uh, was recited by again lord krishna so whenever you want to go in for an interview you want to be successful try to listen try to listen and catch the keywords for example, in Agile, what they are looking for? Are they looking for safe Agile? Okay. If you, and note it down. When you are giving answers, try to in, include those keywords. That's very, very important. For example, in Python, uh, they, are, uh, they must be telling like, okay, Pandas library you are, we are using in our company, right? When you are giving answers, you can tell like, like I have good experience using Pandas. In Pandas, I have done this, I have done that. You know? Uh, so uh, when, if you don't listen, you will miss that point. That is really, really important. Either you go for job interview, either you go for visa interview, wherever you go, this matters a lot. And if you don't understand, if they are speaking a little fast, that's okay. Try to ask them, okay, what, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't pay attention to it. Can you repeat again? They will do it for you. No problem at all. Even native speakers of this language, sometimes they speak too fast, you know, and uh, you will miss some keywords. So uh, make sure that uh, you get that. Listen it very carefully. 
and then again uh, step number 5 is slow down slow down rate of speech very very well, well guys if you are if you have a habit of speaking too fast you know then uh, try to slow down how you can do that practice your interview with your friends with your family and make sure that you are sounding very natural not like a robust right <laughs> that who knows all the answers and who has uh, by hearted all the answers and hey here is the answer <laughs> you know they are not looking for somebody like that uh, uh, be natural uh, just uh, talk in a way you are talking to a friend or a family okay if they are asking you uh, what you have done uh, what kind of agile meetings you have attended you tell him i i attend agile meeting every morning uh, we have a daily stand up call where uh, we are giving status saying that what i did today what i did yesterday and what are the milestones you know so that will give an impression that uh, you are caring for them so slow down your uh, rate of speech is very very important number 6 be specific be specific to the point if they are asking you question on what is left at outer join you know don't give them the whole lot of reason about left outer join first answer what is left outer join okay and then again here is the trick and then explain them how you have used left outer join in your project that is very important nobody cares about what is left outer join in industry in in campus interview they care a lot they will ask you what is ip address right <laughs> but when you go for any interview uh, uh, let's say that you are going for experience interview there they will not uh, they will uh, first of all they will ask you what is left outer join if you tell like left outer join is taking column from left and right they will uh, they will uh, they will think that you don't have practical experience so tell them like this is the left outer join and i have used uh, you know in this way and this can be used in a different way try to keep interview uh, this is point number 7 try to keep interview two way uh, you know rather than keeping one way uh, try to keep interview two way that's very very important if they ask you one question okay what do you think about left out to join you give them answer like left uh, you know i have used left out to join uh, in my company in this way or can you tell me like how you are using in your company or i am i am eager to learn from you that that gives an impression to a interviewer that you are giving an opportunity to speak right correct am i going too fast or it's okay pace no no it's good all right so i will yeah. end this meeting because uh, it will end in one minute you know then uh, i will take you back again in other meeting okay uh, so you uh, all you have to do is uh, you have to uh, log in to the same uh, you have to click on the same link and i will take you back all back to this meeting all right uh, i think nilesh you can help so uh, so with that uh, other than that knows it yeah sure all right